up, you guys? So I had a question asked about APP residency programs. So advanced practice practitioners like NPs and PAs, they do have residency programs for those particular career paths. And so if you are interested in getting into certain specialties, they have residency programs for those specialties that require a little bit more kind of training and education. So if you're interested in getting into a residency program or a particular specialty like emergency medicine or trauma or ortho, this video is for you. What's up, you guys? It's Adana, and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, as I stated, I'm going to be talking about advanced practice practitioner. Um, that's such a mouthful. So APP residency programs. Now, what is the APP residency program? Now, I touched on it a little earlier in my intro, but it's essentially a postgraduate program that allows you to get more training and hands-on experience with respect to the specialty that you're trying to get into. So as a PA, there are certain specialties that are a little bit more difficult because you need to have more knowledge, more experience. You can't really get into it straight out of grad school as a new grad PA, which, you know, a lot of us, that's kind of like what we're hoping for. We want to be able to just kind of jump into working because we haven't been working for two and a half years and we've just been building this debt and now we want to be able to pay this debt off. That being said, that's where like, some may choose the route of going into a residency program. Residency programs, you do have to apply for them. There are not that many spots, I would say, in these programs, kind of similar to PA school. And you're vying for these one or two spots with like hundreds of people, maybe even thousands of people. And it's really so that you're able to kind of just better market yourself and be better prepared for the specialty that you're trying to get into. A lot of people that are trying to get into emergency medicine choose to go the residency route because as a new grad, it's very rare for you to get into emergency medicine or even trauma or ICU straight out of, of PA school because it's a little bit more in depth and involved. You know, you need to have a little bit more of like a high acuity with respect to those particular specialties. But really and truly, there are residency programs for like a, a bunch of specialties, numerous specialties. ENT has a residency program, ortho, cardiothoracic surgery, really kind of like all the surgical subspecialties. Um, I've seen some for critical care, ICU. I've seen some for trauma. I've seen some for emergency medicine, obviously. There's a lot, you guys. And you just really have to kind of type into Google like APP or PA residency programs to see where they're located, what they offer, and if it's a good decision or option for you. Now for me, I'm not doing a residency program. I think that my first job is essentially a residency and I'm not getting paid residency money because as a resident, um, much like in you know med school after they've gone through med school and now have applied to get into a residency program, you're not getting paid that much, you know, you know, and you're working like a dog. And I think that if you're gonna be working like a dog, you might as well get paid for it and get the experience hands-on on your first job. And so essentially, I feel like that's why like PAs kind of transition from their first job to their second job within like two years, two to three years of graduating from PA school. You get in, you get the experience, and now you can take that experience and say, I've been a PA for two years, or I've been a PA for three years, and this is what I can bring to the table and you apply to your next job. So for me, I think that's kind of like the thought that I had in my mind. I'm like, why would I apply to go into a residency program like for more schooling, right? When I could literally just get a job um, and start working. Now, why you would apply is if you, again, are trying to get into some of these like rare specialties um, with not as much experience, okay? Or like no experience at all. Um, so you would apply to, uh, you know, some of these residencies across the country and then hopefully get in. And once you do that residency program, I've seen some that are like 12 months. So once you've done that residency program, then, you know, you're free to apply to the job or specialty of your choice. But 
If it was Adana, I'm not doing that, okay? Um, I will leave a link in the description box for the list of residency programs that I found to see if it's something that you are interested in. If you are interested in it, more power to you. Um, like I said, it is important for some uh, if they want to get into a particular specialty, but I don't think it's necessary. And I know that once you have gotten out of PA school and, you know, like I said, you haven't been making money for two years, two and a half years, um, a residency program seems less appealing because you need to start like working, getting experience and making money. So just some things to think about you know it's not always like cut and dry like oh like yeah let me get into this now post-grad um school and um it's easy to get into it's not it's very competitive and so these are all things that you have to think about um when trying to apply to that and when your like loans are going to start like rolling through okay uh, but i'll leave that link for you guys so thank you for that question but that is what uh the app residency program is all about it's all about just getting you more education and experience in those particular specialties um you may not need it you may need it but i don't think it's necessary just my opinion all right if you guys have any other questions for me leave them in the comment section below don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at adama pa and on instagram at get that to university where we help you not only get into but through pa school thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you guys next time bye